All right. Let's see how our portable washing machine works. This is what we're going to use when we go camping. So, this is the washer. This side is the dryer. It'll spin it out. But it doesn't actually dry it, dry it. So, in here, we filled it to the low line with tap water. We've run it on a gentle cycle for 12 minutes. I started it early, so it's running to nine. Um, we're gonna spin it out, which is gonna cause us to drain. We use this to fill it up with. So, it's a five gallon, I think-ish, yeah. Um, it was almost to here when we started. So, with the soap, and depending on how much water it soaks up, we've got another bucket just in case. We're gonna see what happens. Um, even on the gentle cycle, it's pretty, it's running pretty hard. Um, there's hammies in there, and there's a shirt in there that has to be used on gentle cycle. So, it spins one way, stops, it spins back the other way. Um, we bought it really, well, it was gifted for Christmas to use to go camping. So, um, when we go camping, we've gone about a week, and I do laundry once, maybe twice while we're gone. So, I spend easily about 20 bucks probably doing laundry while we're there at the campsite in the laundry mat. Um, could possibly still have to use the dryer, but often when we go camping, we get rain. So when we get the rain, we have to dry out some stuff. So this is supposed to hold 18 pounds on this side. The spinner holds eight. Um, I've seen people hook this up to their toilet and drain it from there. Um, we're going to see if it's going to drain from that high. But so far, we use lukewarm water. It seems to be working. So we're going to check back in when this is done. It does come with a hose. You um, attach it here, run it to your faucet. It's a very flimsy hose. It's actually in the sink. Um, so it's really flimsy. It's not very thick. Um, it looks like it would crack on the seam line. It has a clamp though and you're supposed to attach it to your bathroom faucet, but it's very cheaply made. So um, instead we just filled this up. So we're gonna wait and see what it's done, what it looks like. I'll show you before I drain it. Okay, we finished washing, it's at zero, and now we're gonna drain it. And because we have to fill this up to rinse it again, we're gonna drain it into this bucket. So, we're gonna hope it siphons right. And then we're gonna turn this to drain. And see what happens. It's very hard to turn. I'm scared I'm going to break it. Nope, that's the wash cycle. Nope, that's the spin. Oh, there we go. It is just very, very hard to turn. But we have water. And from what I've read, though, you have to watch and see how it drains out to turn it off. It doesn't do an automatic shut off, which where some people have problems. So there was only two things in here. Um, there was a t-shirt 
that had to be gentle cycle washed. And then of course, beloved Hammy, who gets hand washed. He's never been put in the washing machine. So, this bucket looks like it's gonna be a good size. We don't take this bucket with us camping, so um, we're gonna have to figure out where that goes. We've talked about using the water that comes out of this to fill our potty for our clean water. Um, and that appears to be about all the water. Looks like it's gone. Starting to suck a little bit of air here and there. It could still be in the pipe. So, I'm going to turn it off, which is really hard to do. Um, these are still soaking wet. Obviously, they've not spun out. But, um, this doesn't, this had to be general cycle washed. It's not, color's not been affected. Um, I like that this is all plastic. Um, I worry sometimes when you get stuff too full, it gets caught and it can pinch and discolor some of your stuff. This part down here, you can't really fit anything in there. Like, I'm having a hard time. So, there's no agitator for it to get caught on. It would be very hard um, for clothing to get caught inside of that space. So, we're going to fill this up with fresh water again um, to rinse it. I did decide, because there's no way to get... Um, go ahead. Oh, wait. Don't go ahead. Due to gravity, here's a quick lesson for you. It will drain right back out. Okay. Very important. Make sure you hook the drain back. Um, so, I'm opting for a liquid detergent. This is the only detergent I have ever found that has softener built into it. I got it at the Family Dollar. Um, there's no way to add fabric softener to any of this stuff. Usually when we're camping, the main reason we're doing laundry is to get rid of the smoke smell on our PJs and we have clean towels. So we're not going for five star dining. We're just looking to get clean PJs um, because we pack light because we go for a week. So I opted, I was making my own laundry pods but we have opted to do this instead um, because it has the detergent and the fabric softener. Um, it's very hard to see. I'm going to try to get it. Maybe if we're lucky and we don't drop the telephone. So there is an H right here. You can't see it. There's an H, a medium, and a low. So five gallons is what you need just for low. Um, we're going to turn this back on and let it just kind of rinse those out um but this appears to be maybe a 10 gallon it's about half full so this tub is what we're going to have of waste water once we're done so i'm okay in using this to go in our potty um to flush it because then we load it in the wagon take it to the gray station and get rid of it so i'm perfectly fine with making a trip to the the gray station to get rid of it um it will fit in this container obviously because that's what we put back in to get in a wagon to get there capped this would be very hard to take to the gray station um because of how far we go so this would go in the potty and we would use it to flush and then any other trips we would have to use these containers to get rid of it so um I'm letting this spin. The water is much cleaner. It drained out. We did really good. So we're going to let this go a few minutes and then I'll show you how to spin it out. Okay. We're done with this rent cycle. We're going to put it in this container and see how much is actually probably left. When we started, it was up to here. 
So we're gonna drain it for the rinse cycle and then put it in the spin, or what I call the dryer. It's not actually gonna dry it by any means. Um, pretty close, couple reviews I've read, but I'm not counting on it being very dry. So um, again, this is very, very hard to turn to the drain. I think it's done like that on purpose so that you don't accidentally do it. Um, one of our biggest things were when we go camping to see how much of a space we had before this would actually drain. So I'm sure there's gonna be quite a bit of water caught in here from the draining options. I know how much water we put in here. I know there's gonna be some left in the bottom but it could just be the OCD in me that is paranoid to put it back in this container. I'm scared it's going to overflow. Like there's going to be more water than what we started with. Um, it's getting pretty close. We use cold water to rinse it in. So they're still dripping, most definitely. Poor Hammy. Um, he is a jelly cat that I got from a thrift store. I love him. He's got beans in his bottom. So he never goes in the dryer. I have a plastic washboard is what I usually wash him on. Um, if we have anything that needs to be washed that we don't go up to the laundry mat area for, I do typically um, take a board and wash it by hand just as a spot clean. Um, sounding, there we go, we're hitting air. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. And I'm assuming this much water is either caught between here or in the clothes. Not 100% sure. My, I'm gonna hang this back up. We're gonna get the yellow bucket back out. And see, I'm gonna put the phone down just a second how much more water we're gonna get in the spin. So. I also am excited about this because I've got two new babies, though not my babies, that I keep or hope to keep or probably will keep so it's going to give me the opportunity to wash their clothes completely separate so i'm not going to wring these out because i want to know how well the spin cycle works these are dripping wet this is one medium t-shirt and of course hammy who is absolutely dripping water so we're going to stick him in there now i've been told that the top locks to this part um, that you can't get it open once it starts. So for the safety of fingers, they have provided this piece and it will f allow you to fill it up to here, but it automatically drops when it starts spinning. So we're going to see how this goes. Close this. It is set to here to drain. We're going to see how much water we get. It will spin out for five minutes. So, I'm going to set it on five, and it takes off pretty fast. It's moving. I'm not sure. This water's coming out pretty good. Um, this is also water that I would be comfortable using if we needed fresh water for our potty, for the gray water. Um... We usually go camping not by ourselves. My mom goes as well. We both have porta potties, like the truck potties. We try not to make trips back and forth to get water. If we do, we send the kids. Um, they think it's fun. So this has been maybe a minute-ish. It's already gotten significantly quieter. It's balanced out, it's not bulging anywhere. We have no water on the floor anywhere so we've done really good this does run off 110 nothing required our campsites that we use does yeah see it has a safety feature i opened it and it stopped so um takes just a second for it to pick back up and balance out but that's 
really cool. But it seems like we could be about done with the water. It's not, we're not getting a lot of water anymore. Very slow. So this is still a very good amount of water that was left in here. Um, I'm sure if we pour it back in here, which I may do, we're going to get this five gallons we started with. So, and this is for a small load. That was just a shirt. Um, but I would call it a one outfit load on low. Might have to pick if you want bra or socks clean. Personally, I go barefooted for a clean bra. So, three minutes. We got three minutes to go. We're going to see how this ends up. We'll see how dry it is and we'll hang them out. So I can't get the lid open and you're probably going to hear the rattling, but I was able through modern technology. So it's spinning pretty hard. Um, very even. I haven't gotten any water. It took about a minute. And the water stopped flowing. So I'm assuming that that's about all the water that we're going to get out of it. So I'm not sure that it actually requires a full... The longest option you have is five minutes. So we're going to see how it goes. Um, about 30 seconds and we'll see how dry it is. My last video took so long that it's quit. So we're going to start another one. So we've spun this out, took five minutes to do. We're gonna open this up, see how dry this is. They are really dry, significantly dry, like damp dry. This is cool. So this doesn't look like it's faded at all. One shirt, and this is a damp dry. This is, if you're going camping in South Carolina, which we do, um, this would not take very long at all um, outside. And it would be, I mean, this, in an emergency, I could most definitely wear this the way it is. It is significantly dry. This um, has not faded and it was a hand wash only. This was dripping. It's no longer dripping at all. He sometimes, usually to get him dry, I wrap him up in a towel and I have to step on him. So, um, this is pretty dry. Very impressed. So we're gonna see, I told you it took five gallons to wash and then we rinsed it and did it again. So we're gonna actually see how much of the five gallons, so it's probably 10 gallons for a small load, which is what I would call a one outfit, which is not the best, I don't think personally, but we're gonna see, um, Nick, come help. We're gonna see if we can dump this over into here and see how close we are to five gallons, just out of curiosity because I want to see how much of this it takes to fill this up because we started with the five gallons. Will you pour this in there for me? Just bend it. Try not to spill it. Um, the water we did get on the floor. Oh man, my things broke. We're gonna see how close we get to our five gallons. Some of the water did, we get, we did get in the floor. Pulse up. Ooh, we're almost. So it is most definitely about 10 gallons. Um, it didn't fill all of it. We still got a little bit in there. Just barely enough to fill the bottom. So I would say you're going to do bougie camping. Most definitely, definitely. 100% worth it. Um, I spend about 20 bucks doing laundry. And we have a family of six. So we have multiple towels for the pool for drying um like i said we go camping in july for a week we go tent camping specifically and we most definitely um make a trip to do laundry so so far i am very impressed